There we go. It. Yes. Hello. I was like, how do I do that? <laughs> you're okay. You're okay. How are you doing? I'm all right. I like Nervous. that you're wearing. Well, don't don't worry. We're wearing tie dye. <laughs> do you see? We're we're wearing tie dye together. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do uh -huh. see it. Yeah. Uh huh. So it's, it matches. It's my favorite. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Well, welcome in. Don't worry about it. Don't be too nervous. It's just me. Also, thank you for letting me be a few minutes behind. Um, and 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 yeah. And so I just want to let you know how this goes. Somebody just showed up in my brain. So hold on. It's gonna take a second. Um, oh, oh wow. Already. Um, already. Hold on. There's two people. Okay, so let me tell you how this works. So number one, it's just me. I'm going to have my little pen. I'm going to have my little notepad. All I do is scribble over and over again. Um, it makes my anxiety go away. So this will be your scribble page. When they talk, how do they talk? Well, they come in because they love you. They're connected to you. They're everywhere. They're always here, but we just have to figure out how to talk to them. Um, the first way is that they give me a bunch of signs and symbols. They will come in and they will use um, like a peach. That means that they're from Georgia, like just stuff like that. Um, they'll put all these symbols in a line and I'll just tell you what they're saying. The next thing is that they will talk mainly in feelings. This is how spirits are in a higher vibrational state. So like heaven, um, this is how they talk. So they may give me a feeling or bring up a feeling in me of what it was like when I turned my dad off life support. So therefore I'd say that we take this person off life support, stuff like that. They can even make me feel what it's like to eat, you know, chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream on a Friday. Okay. So they can go, you know, very, very heavy or very, very light. The last two ways are that they will try to, um, put me in a situation that, hold on, are you there? Can you hear me? There you go. Okay. Yeah, I can um, hear you. You're okay. Put me in a situation that could have happened to you, could have happened to them, or will happen to you by taking my own memories and realigning them. And then the last thing is that they will try to talk by essentially giving me just words. They may make me hear like Nick, and I'll be like, do you know anybody named Nick? You know, simply like that's how it is. But really how they talk is they all talk at the same time and um all these three three four ways and then i'm trying to put them together in a line and create english out of it there's somebody here they're playing with my brain it's incredibly hard to talk when they start doing that um and they just adore you um it's like there's somebody that is just like running up <gasps> and they just like want to stop and talk and they're like hi hi Hi, they're just saying hi. I go, okay, hi. They're saying, tell me, hold on. Coming up and they're trying to touch you. They're trying to touch you. Hold on. Come here. Come here. So is this like a, is this like a son for you? Really? Okay. I go, who are you? Because they're coming up and touching your arm and they go, mom, mom mom mm -hmm. i go oh okay and they go she doesn't see me i said no i said not so much she says but like i'm here i go okay and they're talking about how why he's like very curious about what you're doing all the time especially what's going on on your phone for some reason like all up in your face and he's like talking about how um like you sitting there i guess watching online or you sitting there watching on your phone and he's always near you and trying to look at it always near you and like wanting to see so i would even say like when this is happening when you're at home he would be there okay he would be right beside you and why tell me hold on oh poor bud he had a hard time um he says uh he's talking about being exhausted He's talking yeah. about being exhausted. He goes like this. He goes, he, cause when he ran up to you, he stopped. And I said, what are you doing? He goes, I was so tired. I'm so tired. And I go, I know. And he's just like laying down, like looking at me. He's like showing me all these different things. And he says that, tell me, he likes to eat standing up okay interesting so you would just like put food down for him to eat and he'd be like watching tv and eating at the same time mm -hmm. okay yeah he's just talking about how you are really good mom and he says that you would go and like bring food and set it down and he would just walk around and he likes that and he's saying that tell me why 
Come here. Cookie? What about a cookie? Hold on. Tell me. Aww. He's talking about when you go to the grocery store. How in your brain, you still say like, you know, oh, he likes this. Or, oh, this is his favorite. Or, oh, he wants that. Or, oh. And he's talking about you thinking about it and saying it out loud. I have never gotten that in my head before. And so he's with you. And he's like pointing things out that he likes. And like, that's why you remember these, by the way. It's because he's with you and he's putting that in your brain. Okay. And he, tell me what. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay. So you were able to like hold his hand. You were able to be with him when he, when he crossed, correct? Yeah. He yeah. says, he says, my mom was right there. He says, my mom was right there. I said, good, good, good. And he says, I love her. He does love you. And he appreciates you. And um, most people aren't able to have that gift, which is beautiful. And he says that, tell me why. It was time. He says it was time. And he, why? What happened? Hold on. What about it? What about it? What happened to you, bud? God, so he was sick for a while? Yeah. Okay. Because he goes like this. I said, what happened to you? And he goes, mm. and he's talking about hospital. He's talking about doctors. He's talking about being forced to lay in a bed. And he's talking about how fucking, well, not fucking, but that's the way it feels for me, <laughs> how fucking frustrating this is. Um, and he says he was so over it and he's so happy to be able to be up and running around and not having to deal with all that crap anymore. Um, and he knows how stressful this was for you. Like he understands it. He understands how you cope and how you dealt with it every single day. And he's understanding how you took it with you everywhere you went. Um, and he is in heaven. He is in a higher vibrational place. He is with God. He's not stuck. He's not bad. And he says that tell me oh you still say like this is my son so you still talk about him quite quite often to everybody correct <laughs> yeah he, he goes like this he says she's always like and this this is my son not this was my son so like there's this uh, appreciation for saying like i appreciate you thank you for telling me this thank you for just speaking in me as though i'm not fully gone yet <laughs> and he tell me why he keeps showing me damn butterflies over and over again, which is really, really good. But I would even have to say that, tell me. Interesting. Hold on. Or can, can you get a single tattoo for him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He goes like this. He just showed yeah. me a... What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, butterflies! Wow. And I have. But that one I've had. Yes. <laughs> I just got this one. Wow. Yeah, that's him. Wow. Mm. He showed me that. He put that in my brain. Big as day. And then he keeps saying tattoo. And he says, my mom honors me. He loves you. He's around you. He's by your he's by your shoulder all the time. Like that's where he's at. And he tell me who did you used to have what? Did you ever live with him? Was there ever a cat around him? Yeah. Okay. What happened? Where is that cat at now? Uh, we don't have that cat anymore. You don't? Yeah, because he says he's not dead, but he says he's not here. And so I'm like, where is that cat? Okay. Yeah. He goes, so my cat was in my room my last session. I didn't know. He hopped up here on the back of my chair, scared the absolute piss out of me. And I picked him up because I didn't know he was in here and put him out. And then he goes, oh, I like your cat. I said, what do you mean? He says, I had one. And he made me hear meow. And he says, but the cat's not here anymore. And I go, oh, okay. So he's like just comparing. And he says that, tell me what, what about you? What happened? Hold on. Yeah. Good job, Mom. He was, when he left his body, he was around you the entire time. He was just watching how 
you couldn't let him go. You didn't want to let him go. And he's just talking about how you were there. And um, he says that, what? Did he end up passing away in a in a hospital? Mm -mm. Okay, he did home. Okay, because he's talking about when they took me, when they took me. But it felt like it was in a very medical setting instead of like being here. Um, and so he's just talking about how mom had me and mom was with me until they took me. And I go, good. And he's talking about how, why? What? What, what, what? Hold on. Then. Yeah, he's running around here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Who is, is there a, do you have a daughter? Do you, is there another girl? Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is she older than him? Ah, okay. He goes like this. He says, I'm going to go find my sister. I said, well, what do you mean? And he goes, oh, she's older. I go, oh, okay. And so he's talking about going and saying hi. And he says that, why would we call him a miracle baby? Was he having issues at birth? He was born with it. Oh, he was. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. He just flashed a picture of him being a little baby and he says miracle baby. And he says, I had these issues at birth as well. Oh, interesting. Okay. And he says, so his whole life was dealing with this now because I'm not a doctor. I don't know what all the illnesses are, so I may never be able to get close or say what it is, but he says that, tell me why. Hold on. Tell me. Why? Was it like... Hold on. Was it like a genetic thing that goes along with like... Oh, it was genetic. Okay. That stunts... Like cell development or something? Or what is it? Yeah, I will never know what that is. What What is a genetic thing? Uh, He had... 22Q, uh, which is the George syndrome. Oh. And he got his heart. His heart was at a 90 degree angle when he was born. And he grew no pulmonary valve. That's why the cell. Oh, oh. So they had to go and put a, do a new one in. They put a stent, or they didn't put anything in. They patched. They patched his. Um, he had like a hole at the bottom of his heart. Yeah, a VSD, and then they put a stent in. That's why. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He showed me an image like this. He said, "Aim." He said, "It's chest," and then he says, "The cells." He says, "Didn't." fully form or did it develop and i'm like what is that mean <laughs> where is that at so it's that's in this area okay oh man i'm yeah he's the survivor no wonder no wonder and he what tell me why oh he must have been a favorite at the doctor's office or he was like a favorite there or something. Or he's talking about how um, like everybody loves me or everybody likes me. And he says that what is the feeling of do we feel like do we feel like like that there was something that the doctors missed that caused him to go down so quickly? What is that? Um, I don't think so. They missed, um, the reason why he got worse is because they weren't ready for his, um, second open heart surgery. They weren't ready. They weren't ready. So we missed that okay can't we do that what was wrong with that um it was supposed to be the number one pediatric heart doctor who was doing a case in california yeah and bentley was ready for it now and we had to take the next one and he kept pushing off the surgery and bentley couldn't wait anymore 
That's why. Mm -hmm. That's why. Okay. He goes like this. He says, Amy, the doctor, he says, missed, missed. And I go, okay, okay. So I'm not saying that we're blaming on him or anything like that, but he acknowledges and he gets that that's what happened. Okay. He gets it. And he says that, hang on, let me see. What, 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 what? Hold on. What is going on? Hold on. Tell me, tell me. Where? What happened? Bent Bentley's dad. Um, where? Is dad not in the house? No, he is. He is. Okay. Is he at work right now? No, he is um over at a friend's house. Oh, he, that's why. Okay, she he goes like this. He says, "Dad, hi, Dad, hi, Dad. Dad's not here." And I go, "Oh, where's Dad? Dad's not in the house. Yeah, because he's over at a friend's house." Mm -hmm. And he says, like, he wants to say hi to Dad, or he wants to say that he's around Dad quite a bit. Okay. Yeah. So, because he loves him as well, and he says that. Tell me, hold on, hold on. What was going on with, tell me. He just keeps putting his thumb up. He says, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hold on. Tell me about her. He's with two people on the other side. He, mm -hmm. there's going to be a female that goes along um, with him that goes along with you. Um, I would have to say, tell me. Hold on. Interesting. But your mother is still here, though, correct? Mm hmm Yeah, okay. Yeah, because he says grandma, grandma. And I go, grandma? I said, what grandma? And then um, I go, he's talking about your grandmother. So, like, one of your grandmothers or something like that is over here with him, even though, like, they didn't have, you know, close relationship or anything like that here. Um, but I would even say more, it goes maybe on the line more of, like, your mom's side for some reason. Um, I don't know why or how. There's, like, some female. And I say that, I go, oh, so is this her mother? Are you with him? He goes, no, no, she's still alive. And I go, okay. So there's, like, some female entity that was with him for just a second. I was trying to figure out who that was. And he says that, come here, tell me about him. I want to go back over here. Come here, baby. So what? What about you? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, and so y'all did have a service for him? No. No? Okay. We we did something as a family, but we didn't have. Yeah. He was cremated. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He just goes like this. He says, thank you. And then he shows me angel wings. And then he says, thank you for remembering me. Or thank you for remembering me. And he's talking about honoring him over and over again. Um, And he says that, tell me, what about you? Why? When was his birth or whose birthday is coming up or when is his birthday? His birthday is coming up. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. He just showed me all these balloons and he released them into the sky and he said, happy birthday. And they're all different colors. Yeah. We did that his last birthday. Oh, you did that. Oh, are you going to do it again? Yeah. We do it every birthday and Christmas. Good. Good. So know that he knows. Yeah. He just watched them all go everywhere. So he goes with you and he's talking about happy birthday to me. So that's coming up as well. So you're all going to have like a piece of cake and stuff like that too for him yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay good good good. yeah that's gonna be a big deal for him and he says that tell me what hold on come here bud what about you where's he going interesting so he ended up passing away here in this home yes oh okay he's telling me to come to his room that's why <laughs> He says, he says, look at my room. Come to my room. Look at my room. Um, I'm in his room. I oh, took over right. his room. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, mom. Look yeah. at you. Yeah, he likes his room. And he says that, tell me. What? Did he used to have? Did we give the bed to like another kid? What happened to the bed? 
I still have it. I you sleep do. on it. You sleep on it. Okay, okay. He goes like this. He says he goes sleeping somebody else. He says bed. You sleep on it. Okay. Um, he's talking about my bed. Somebody else sleeps on it. And he's talking about how. Tell me, what? What about it? What about it? He had to. Interesting. He's all into his TV. Where's that at? He's all into his TV. He and he's going like this. So I'm guessing TV goes into like watching TV, or maybe he even was allowed to like play little games or something with it or something like that. Do you have any he idea? Li he lived on his iPad. He. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's just talking about how, cause he can't do a whole lot or he gets too tired too quickly or something. And so that's what he does. That's what he likes to do. Do you have that right there? You have it right there. Yes, you would have it right there. That's what he's talking about. And um, he says how much he loves it. And he's like laying on the bed behind you in my brain doing that. Like that's all he's doing. And he says that, tell me why. What? Why are you drawing a smiley face? What are you doing? He's drawing you a heart. Hold on. Where is... Do you have, like, a, a picture that he, like, hand-painted or finger-painted for you or something? oh my god wow yep that that yep yep that would that would be it wow wow mm -hmm. he's in here <laughs> honey he's in here Jamie, I, if, if, whoo, all right, I just got all these goosebumps. I'm sorry, he was painting it in my brain. With, you saw my hands with his fingers. And he's talking about this. And he says, oh, but it was when I was younger, a little younger or mm -hmm. something like that. He says, not now. I don't do that anymore. And I go, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, he loves you. He's here. He's with God. He's in source. But he is around you all the time. And he adores you and he loves you and he doesn't leave. And he's going to protect you for the rest of your life. Okay? Because you were able to protect him. You were able to love him. You were able to be there for him. Okay? And he's not left you. And anytime you come in here, anytime you have a good cry, anytime like that, know that he's with you. Okay? And you're not doing anything bad by coming in here and doing that. I don't want you to think because, I don't want you to think that because you're sad or guilt or whatever that would be, that, that you're doing anything to him. You're having to process through your own emotions. You're doing a good job and he's there to raise you up because you're his mommy and you helped him the entire time. Okay? No one's mad at you. No one's upset at you. He adores you and he knows you were there from the very beginning to the very end. Okay? And he gets it. And now he's this sprightly energy they can run everywhere and still sit here and, and be with you. So you sleep in here at night, you said? Yeah. So remember how I said you were on your phone and he's beside you as you're watching it? That's why. Because you're in his freaking room sleeping or you try to. And so he's coming up and he's around you. <laughs> and he says one couple more things. Hold on. Come here, honey. What? What else? Where are you going? Where are you going? So do we have all like the extra old toys in his closet? Not in a closet. We have them in a toy box in the living room for my grandson. The living room. Okay. Okay. He's going through and all he says toys. Da, 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 da. And he says that um they're gonna give them away. And I go, Oh, okay. And he's talking about how tell me. Is he like four or five the grandson he's four he is okay he goes up to him and he says hi hello and i go what and he says he's younger than me and i go oh and he says but i say hi to him 
Okay. So he goes over and he hangs out with your grandson as well. Okay. And he loves you. He adores you. He says, come here. What? Why? Hold on. What was his middle name? Did we call him something eloquent like Bradley Preston or what did we call him? He was uh God, what was his nickname? Bud. 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 Oh. Okay. Bud or Bent. Bent. Okay. Yep. There you go. There you go. Yeah. He he is here. Hold on. Tell me, buddy. Hold on. I know you're in a lot of pain from missing him. He's talking about being here with you for that. And he's saying, like, don't worry, Mom, I'm here. Don't worry, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, your buddy loves you. He adores you, and he thanks you for being here with him. And so, for right now, I also want to let you know that you may get an email from me over the next couple of days. And it may be like, hey, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Okay, because that's what happens when I channel kids. They show up and they keep showing up. And I'm okay with that. I love it. But I just want to give you a fair warning before you get a random email from me. Okay. Um, and so for right now, I am going to have to run to my next session. But do you have any questions for me or anything? Anything? The only question I have is um, when I found him. Yeah. I just need to know if he was alive or if he had already passed. If he had already passed. Okay. Hold on. Um, He was already passed. He had already passed. And the reason for that is when he was showing me that you found him, that you were with him, that you were grabbing his hand, that you were there. Oh, there's okay. Kiki. Um, when, <laughs> when he was showing me that you were there, he was outside of his body watching this. Okay. <sighs> He was outside of this body watching it. Okay. So he's okay. He's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if, if you need me or if you have any questions or anything like that, you email me. Okay. And this okay. is what I want you to do right now. I want you to take a couple minutes. I want you to have a good breather and a good ugly cry. I want you <laughs> to know that your son is running around here. Okay. And if you need me again or anything, just email me. Okay. okay. All right, Jamie, Amy with the J. Talk to you <laughs> later, okay? Okay. Okay. Love you. All right. Bye-bye.